हाय एवरीवन जय हिंद जय भारत जय माता दी अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट डे थैंक यू राजीव कौशिक सर विद बीइंग विद अस सर अभी रिसेंटली इन वन ऑफ द ग्रुप्स आई कुड सी दैट क्वेश्चन द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप दैट यू हैड एंड अ यंग कैप्टन वाज आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन दैट सर कैन आई इन्वेस्ट इन द नेम ऑफ माय वाइफ इज इट अप्रोप्रिएट टू डू दैट सो प्लीज दिस क्वेश्चन हैज टू पार्ट्स इज इट अप्रोप्रिएट एंड इज इट लीगल ओके द टू थिंग्स टू इट so you see and there is another part why do we say appropriate and there is a third part also because some people have asked that i have been investing only in the name of my wife i have not been investing in my name and 90% of his wealth from nre account had gone there and invested in his wife's name for whatever reason i don't know so we will take this very important topic one by one so let us say appropriate now lot of people when i say that i always say that we must include our spouse if we are married in the financial planning we always say that so some young people because nowadays the marital disharmony is growing a little bit more they say sir we do not trust our family we have already made a video on this earlier when we say that you have to trust your wife so appropriate means they are scared that how can we put our money in her name now that is a very weird thing because she is looking after your whole existence when you are not there like it or not like it when we go on board we are as good as dead <laughs> you are of no use so the family is surviving without you so she is taking care of your child your parents which actually is more valuable than the amount of money that you earn so the answer is yes you must the socio logical factor says yes you must invest for her also or rather she must invest for her also why is this important this is important for two reasons one is a subjective or a sociological reason or a human aspect reason and another is a financial reason we'll take a sociological reason first when you start investing in the wife's name you will sit with her you will discuss with her you will say that i am starting your sip or stp in so and so fund you will include her in the decision making rather if you were to invest in your own name she would be cooking down in the kitchen and you would be sitting somewhere else and nicely doing it on the laptop and she would not know sociological inclusivity like i said in that video that children more than 8 should also be brought into this right. and i am very happy to say that today my daughter uh, she remembered i mean she turned down a loan which was uh, they were planning to buy some property with for a loan they said no this loan is not coming uh, very cheap and for that she remembered a car loan that we had taken in 2002 and we promptly closed down in 2003 and i had made her close the loan i only did the signatures and she did everything at the age of 10 and a half she said what is required how much is the prepayment penalty and what she checked the amortization schedule and she checked that we are paying much more than what actually we should have been paying for the car and car is a depreciating asset all this at the age of 10 and a half so today she phoned up and she said that i refuse that loan because it is not making economic sense inclusivity of children right inclusivity of wife i have so many times said that if it was not because of the inclusion of my wife into the system my portfolio would never have been ready never now the taxation part there is a lot of discussion amongst the tax professionals and cas about investing in the wife's name and the proceeds being Uh, taxed in the hands of the spouse that is you and because of this they frighten they threaten the person even a mariner who is a non resident so much that the person just doesn't know what to do one side of the story that people who don't invest in the wife's name my point is that you are a non resident your salary is coming to the nre account which is non taxable 
from there you are transferring some money to your wife which is allowed by law as a gift it is allowed by law also it is going into a channel where it can be taxed earlier it was not being taxed so even if you do not invest in mutual fund and if she wants to keep it as a fd she is allowed by all reasons and that uh, interest is should be ideally it should be taxable with her because your taxable income is not there her taxable her income is becoming taxable law says it has to be clubbed with the spouse of the higher slab you are in zero slab she is in a slab so this makes more sense one thing second question how much and how so let me bring about something that the appellate decisions uh, over some cases when uh, income tax authorities they question and send notices there are some people who take it to the appellate which looks after the income tax department this thing rulings and the appellate said that there is no rule anywhere which prevents this prevents what suppose you give 50000 to your wife to manage a household correct that you pay children's fee you buy vegetables do do this do do this do this and everything your wife is smart and she says i will not buy this oil from here i will buy it from here and i will buy in bulk and it will last me for 6 months so i am going to save this much money she grows her vegetables behind in the garden and she manages that she saves that much money at the end of the month out of 50000 she saves 10000 our mind always works in multiples of 10 no 5 and 10 right sir so 10000 she earns now by law it is nowhere mentioned that it cannot be or the limit to it that 10000 becomes her pin money what is pin money pin money is a very accepted par par in the in the parlance of taxes taxation world over that money is her saving because of a skill it was her skill with which she saved the money so that 10000 belongs to her it cannot be taxed right now the thing starts that what is the limit and in the entire taxation so far as of today's date 7th august 2023 there is no limit in the income tax act on that pin money so if you transfer let's say what your expenses or monthly expenses are say 1 lakh say 1 lakh you transfer 2 lakhs she manages to save 1 lakh sometimes she manages to save 1 and 10 1 lakh 10000 also that 1 lakh 10000 is a pin money she is allowed to invest that save that buy jewelry buy gold land property the moon and the works with that whatever she can it will be tax in her hands i assume that this chapter is also not there forget it about pin money and you are just transferring money and she is investing and you are investing after 25 years when you are my age and you have stopped selling now now you have to take out money right so why was this investment necessary it was investment was necessary to give her peace of mind that i am also secure i am also being thought of like i always say when you buy a property always buy buying joint names you and your wife always this is my my own supposition and support to the people always do because it solves lot of problems it eases lot of legal formalities which come up suppose the male passes away the male spouse goes away usse bahut farak pad jata hai so similarly if you do it she has a peace of mind now you both have retired right it is in joint names so you can decide that now this is there so we are going to go for a this thing vacation i'll remove this much you remove this much there is no difference in taxation because capital gains is taxed on 10% you pay the same tax whether you it was removed from your account or her account so it does not really make a difference but you can balance it out you can say we will start removing like this and you will start removing like this and so there is a parity there will be a parity suppose you want to give it out for inheritance maybe your wife likes to do some charity or you like to do some charity and she doesn't like it or she likes to do she doesn't like it she wants to give that money part of that money to some relative she is free to do that the taxation will be in her hands slowly the indian taxation system will become easier and easier to comply with 
it is already quite simple. So, this is the whole idea and this video actually should be uh, uh, titled appropriately so that the ladies watch it more and they advise the husbands because if they are not investing in their name, they are losing out on a lot of things and that is not limited to money because there are a lot of uh, uh, wives of mariners I know who have got the ARN number in their name. Some of them of course are doing insurance agencies, but some of them have gone into, they have taken the AMFI certification, they have taken the advisory certification and they are branching out into a business. Why not? There is a severe shortage of mutual fund distributors and because of which the proper investment guidance cannot be given to people. So, if you involve your wife into this, she will not only make your home, chances are that she will be able to educate a whole society and in possibility is there that they can generate a business for them. So, there should be no knowledge and no wealth which should not be distributed, which should not be shared. At least the knowledge should be shared. Knowledge about wealth is very important to be shared. If I something comes to my mind, I should put it forward. If some some there are questions which make me think. There are people who ask questions which make me think. I don't have ready-made answers to it. So I do some research on that. I do a lot of thinking. Most of the questions require you to think, not basically Google. Right? Google cannot give answers to that. So in this particular way, you must understand this. And all those who are watch, watching this must understand that after 20 years or 25 years or 30 years, you and your wife have parallel portfolios. And at that time, suppose she sells something and your CA says that the capital gain should be shown in your return, please don't try it. It is almost like, you know, there is a person walking in front of you and he has dropped his purse and you have picked that purse and you are trying to put it back into his pocket and then you get caught. So, this is a very disastrous thing. A very common question which is asked is, sir, how much can I transfer to my wife? So, earlier I used to say that it's your final investment distinct ratio should be about 1 is to 3. Means, if you invest 3 lakhs for yourself, invest 1 lakh for her. But here I say that whatever your home expenses are, transfer about double of that amount to her account and then from there you take a route. In your wife's investment, you can be the second applicant. Just like in your investment as a non-resident Indian, she can be the second applicant. The Nominees should always be your children. So, that concept of I want to invest for my children, invest for my children, it does not hold good. Always invest in your name, in your wife's name and the children should be your nominees. One fund, one child, not in one fund 50-50, no. Simple, simple. Right? I hope guys, this video is good to all the mariners, wives, please share it with your friends, Joki mariner so that this video can reach yes, out to as many people as possible. This is a very important topic and a lot of the CAs and tax professionals have very uh, different views on this because they are more suited, more tuned to the shore based people. Mostly, you know, the NRIs who are there, they are very HNI people, you know, they earn few crores every year. So, nobody thinks about our few lakhs. So, <laughs> for our few lakhs to turn into few crores, we have to adopt these strategies. Because by doing so, you will become financially literate, more empowered, more educated and you will be able to influence the entire, entire world around you. It has been said by so many writers, including G.B. Shaw, my favorite, that you give a woman anything, she will multiply and give it to you. I mean, you give her a home, house and she turns into a home. So, similarly, I am very confident that if you start taking interest in your own personal finance, you will produce much better results than the best of the portfolio manager or PMS portfolio managing management services are out there. With a very small budget, limited budget, every homemaker on this planet, she runs a home. Even your uh, domestic staff, the maid who comes, even she is manages to run a home in the same city that you live in, she manages to run her home with the limited money that you and few other people are giving her. Same thing which you are managing with a few lakhs, she is managing with a few thousand. 
So all homemakers in this country, all the women, the ladies, they are worthy of their respect uh, and they should feel proud that they are able to do something which we cannot do. With this, thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Mata. If you are a mariner's wife, then share with your mariner's wife. Jai Mata, take care. Bye.